rectangular coordinate system so we have the horizontal line this is from left to right this is x-axis and if we draw another line in any graph paper or any how perpendicularly vertically and up and down this is y-axis and x and y-axis intersecting some point this is origin now one to the right here we call this as a rectangular coordinate system coordinate one or quadrant one and then counterclockwise this one down here it will become quadrant two this one quadrant two and this down here is going to be quadrant three just this one down here and this one obviously is going to be quadrant four now we do have four quadrants so what are the sign actually so x to the right is always positive and x to the left is always negative and if we move y up and down so up is always positive and down is or below is negative now this intersecting a point which we call it origin and origin always is 0 comma 0 in other words our x is 0 so as y is 0 so that's the center this is origin usually we go with the ordered pair x comma y x is positive so x comes first so that is going to be positive and then right y y is also going up that is going to be also positive here so no matter what we have all positive x to the right y to the up is positive so any point fall into this coordinate is going to be positive right on this third quadrant all is going to be negative it's just opposite basically so we can actually write it well how do we know that so x to the left is negative x to the down is negative so any point if we try to find a point here that is going to be also x comma y that is going to be negative comma negative in other words the sign is going to be negative of course we can easily find out what is that point on there we're going to find that later on now moving to second quadrant this is x first so always we should go x first x comma y this is always letter x always comes first so x to the left is negative so we have to down negative sign here comma y goes up is positive so this is the sign is supposed to be on the second quadrant so x to the right is always positive so you're going to have a positive here positive comma y is going to be in this case negative y is negative because y is coming down below is negative so these are the sign actually so first quadrant all are positive whatever point falls into here is going to be intersection so it's two x and y intersection is all positive second quadrant negative positive negative negative all negative because x to the left going negative y coming down is also also fourth quadrant down here x comes first remember we always go x first and y next so these are the sign let's actually go over some terminology then we're going to plot some point in the cartesian coordinate system i have a different graph here as you see this is leveled as like one two it still is each grid is one i can represent it as a two four six also so as you see now we're going to have some terminology again recall what we have done or what we know so far so if you look into this down here right x-axis y-axis quadrant and ordered pair origin and so on so x-axis so x is basically going to the left and right horizontal line going to the right and left i can actually level it so this is x so this is x-axis this is y-axis and this is y going down this is x going left okay so x-axis is a horizontal line going left and right now y-axis is going to be down coming down which is a vertical line vertical line up and down vertical line and then these two when these two intersect we call it origin and that is always zero zero it's always zero zero now when we have intersection and the, the, this make us make it four faces first face is quadrant one and we have noticed that already and quadrant two quadrant three quadrant four with a counterclockwise then of course the ordered fair even in the center the one we have this is ordered fair but every point in the coordinate system is also called ordered fair so what is that ordered fair ordered fair is the location so location of a point in a rectangular coordinate system in any point it can be it can be in the line it can be any of the coordinate now very important we understand the sign what is the sign sign positive right or up in other words the right and up if it is positive x is positive then right y is positive goes up negative left and down means x is to the left y is to the down x is to the up y is to the up so that's how actually we use this terminology into this rectangular coordinate system and it's very crucial for us to understand this in order to float points